Stream WebRTC for near real-time playback with Wowza Streaming Cloud. This does require you have an account with direct playback enabled. Start by going to Live Streams at the top and adding a new live stream. Name it appropriately, and then choose the location closest to where you're broadcasting from. Next, you'll need to choose Web Browser WebRTC from the list of camera and encoding options. Leave all the other settings as is, since adaptive bitrate must be used and closed captions are not available. Generally, we also recommend keeping the aspect ratio to 720p. Next, we can bypass playback settings and we can also say no to hosting a web page since we'll be using WebRTC for playback. Once we've reviewed our settings, click Finish. URLs for both WebRTC Publish and Playback pages are set up and ready to go with source connection information already plugged in. These can be shared for both publishing as well as viewing by just about anyone, but you always have the option to build and use your own. When you're ready, start your live stream and then confirm it. It'll take a few moments for the stream to start. Once the stream is started, go to the Publish page and hit Publish. You'll know when you're streaming live with the red live icon appearing on the top left corner. Now you can go over to the playback page and hit play. The stream will start and you can verify everything is working properly. You may also notice a latency of around four seconds. To reduce this, go back into Wowza Streaming Cloud and stop the live stream, confirming you want it stopped. I'm gonna open the window a little larger for this. From advanced at the top, Go to Transcoders. Here we'll select the transcoder that's been generated for our live stream. And then under the Transcoder Setup tab, we're going to click on Edit for editing the settings and changing that buffer size. We'll make this buffer size zero seconds. Now we can save the change. Back under Live Streams, Return to your live stream and once again start the live stream as well as confirm it. Like before, it may take some time before the live stream is up and running. Once it's ready to go, go back to the publish page and click publish. Then go to the playback page and click play. You should notice immediately a latency of less than one second. Don't forget, you can also build your own publish and playback pages. We have some examples on GitHub, like this one for compositing. You'll need to copy your source connection information over from your current publish page or from under source connection information. In this compositing example, once the source connection information has been added, we can then select the different audio as well as video inputs, such as the option to share an application running on your desktop. This particular example allows you to composite two inputs together to stream a picture-in-picture -picture visual for training. Click Publish to start streaming. And now I'll move it over to one side just so you can also see the playback page at the same time. Hit play on the playback page and once again you'll see the stream in near real time. Well that's it for streaming WebRTC with Wowza Streaming Cloud. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.